It is a beautiful day at White Mound County Park today. It's sunny, and just listen to all the birds, all the different kinds of birds, warblers and yellow throats, red-winged blackbirds. The lake is glistening. It's beautiful. And we have second graders coming out to today, two classes, hiking and doing pond study. I think it's going to be a great day. What'd you find? Hey, buddy. Oh, I, I, thought I, thought I thought I'd get people walking back. Are you going to film me? Are you going to film me? What? I did already. A couple times. Are we about to have lunch? I think so. I think that was... We're getting close to 11. Here's the other group. They're back from their hike and they were playing on the playground. And now it looks like they're getting ready for lunch. Although some of the kids down by the water were hungry when they got on the bus this morning. Kids this age are hungry all the time. Nice playground here. They just had a good time on that. Oh, the kids need this kind of a day so much. Not only just for the learning, but to just to be, to listen to the birds, to see the water and the critters in the water. To 
do cartwheels. Mr. Williams? Mr. Grundle, any words of advice? About what? Good luck. Lake studies. Anybody fall in? No, we have one boat. Jump. Jumping? Say hello. Hello. Are you having fun? Yes. Yeah, what are you learning? Get out of field trip till you get to the Just eating your cucumbers. Don't listen to somebody. Don't listen to somebody. Who's the other person we're missing? Check out see your partner's here. Into, my turn. Into the lake. And what might be in there? Ezra, can you remember one of the things we predicted? Spider. A spider. Do you think there's some water spiders? Maybe. Colton. Water snake. Water snake. Do you think as noisy and as loud as we are, snakes would be near us? Fish while I was playing down there. Because, like, I saw the catch of fish, you got it too. Oh, yes. I don't know if you heard. So, fish and things like frogs. <coughs> the frogs are amphibians, and the fish have, <coughs> excuse me, a film on their whole body, you know, a slime. And the frogs have a little slime. And pay attention, Where's this the, uh, way. Oh Raise your hand if you're looking up at this net. Reese, I want you to be looking. Do not step up. All right. Do not see the net. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Reese, you want to look up at this net? Raise your hand if you've used these nets before. Only a couple, okay. So this is your tool for pond study. And on the table there are some buckets. Where you can put you know, sometimes we think of ponds as having fish and maybe a couple of things. This is a possibility of some of the things that we might find. I saw a shrimp the way here. Mostly we're gonna I mean see like that crab thing. I don't know. This guy who is a dragonfly nymph. Somebody's here and then they move this and it hits the yeah, yeah. the grasses go down scoop into the grasses and then bring it up. When you bring it up, you can put it down and look through it, or you can take your hand and look through it. Some of the things are real tiny. They can't even see us. Like the tuba flex worms. It's <coughs> very tiny, but you'll see them wiggling. And damselfly larvae. I just already found one. Damselfly larvae are are you not get one? We're looking through it. See what you think. Do I This is a damsel fly larva. A damn I got a dancer fly larva! Wow! Here he goes. And a snail. I got nothing. I just hey. checked the chart. I'm not sure what hey. this one is. What is this? What is that? Right there? Put it in the bucket. I found a whole bunch. I found a shell. I found two shells in. What Shell. Oh, very cool. That's a dragonfly nymph. I just dropped one. I got it for you. I got it. Caught a dragonfly. I got the last one. Oh my gosh. We're finding all sorts of things. It's a snail. I found something. Two bucks. Oh my gosh. I eat crayfish. Are they delicious? Nope. What? What do they taste like? They taste sandy. Sandy? Yeah. You mean they feel sandy? No, they taste sandy. Yeah, it's moving. Can you help with that? I can't. All I found was. What'd you find, Bryson? His pant legs keep falling down. He keeps pulling them up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
Ezra, what'd you find, sir? Let me see. Look how wet I am. Yes, you're pretty. How you doing, Miss Stecker? Great! <laughs> Sammy, did you find anything? Yeah, I think. What did you think you found? Okay, I found this green thing like for the third time in a row. Mm -hmm. It's a random green thing. It's to make the world a greener place. I think we've read this before. We might have. I think we saw it on the Clever Touch. What? Oh yeah, we read it in the beginning of the year. We did. And this is the store, the book of it. I have another book, The Lorex, but that one is very long and I don't think we want to sit that long. It. From time to time. And he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading to some tracks. The railway had been working ages ago. Liam ran up those stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lovely patch of color. They did need probably some rain, but they also needed somebody to take care of them. Look. Liam may not have been a gardener, but he knew that he could help, so he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned, and he garden with miles of open railway ahead of it. The garden was growing. The garden was growing restless and wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move. They popped up farther and farther down the By the hill? The hill. Yeah. Nice little structure with those branches there. hunt is on after the hike and after the pond study after the story there's more the scavenger hunt way to go they're going all around Some are going to the hills and the grasses. They are with their big person. some more.
looks like they're finding something. <clears throat> It's her searching. Rolling down the hills. After the hike, this group gets to play on the playground. Climbing, swinging, Does he do that in class? Not in class, at recess. Backwards, forwards, sideways. <laughs> How'd it go, Captain? Good. <laughs> Get away, Alex! Did you see it? No. Looks like it's treat time. Well, and let's see what this group here is doing. I have your coat and I have your lunch bag. Mr. Williams, do you still have nets down there you need help with? I do. That would be great. Well, when we go, we will make sure we grab some. Oh, my goodness. Teacher asked them to run down and help with the nets. And look at that. They are so excited about even helping carry the nets. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, guys. One more benefit of a field trip, learning how to help. The lake is once again quiet as the group is leaving. And hopefully, we're leaving it a little bit better than when we got here. And leaving no footprint. Thank you for being here, trees. Thank you for being here, birds. Thank you for being here, water critters. It's a wonderful place. <laughs>